Last time getting in the Bronco. Good morning vlog. This is so crazy. This is our first vlog, but we are going to go to the coffee shop and then we're going to go pick up the car. Hopefully, you ready to go? that I forgot my cell phone pretty much as soon as I got off the highway. So that kind of sucks. We're gonna go to the car dealership now. Let's go see if the stock fits. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at all the room we have. Holy, he fits, I can't believe it. Look. today. I'm going to give you the numbers here really quickly. So I ended up going with the Toyota RAV4 for a total of $43,603 because I had some negative equity in my Bronco. So altogether I'm going to be paying $765 a month for this new car, which currently I pay just under $600 a month for the Bronco. So it's a little bit more expensive, but I've bought this vehicle as opposed to leasing it. And the other one that I looked at was an Audi and they wanted a $12,000 deposit and $515 by week. So over $1,000 a month for the Audi which in my mind just doesn't make sense and it was a lease so anyways I ended up getting the RAV4 I'm going to pick it up on Tuesday which is so exciting and I can finally get rid of the Bronco but I'm gonna go walk to the gym right now Wilson and I just had like a big play sesh outside and then I'm gonna come home and make some banana bread so I already have the recipe for that all laid out and the ingredients I've already brought up so we're gonna be ready to go so I just realized that I forgot my key card and my credit card. So I turned around, I have to walk back to the house now, get my card, and then I'm gonna try again. We're just gonna take the Bronco instead, like, why not? Now that I don't have to worry about how many miles I put on it, let's rack this puppy up. I'm in a van, but guess what? I'm all right, not the plan. They call you crazy. Okay, we're to the gym now, bye. I'm just about to go into the gym, but before I go in, like, literally anywhere, I always put the sage, peppermint halo on just like the back of my neck I don't put a whole lot on anymore because it used to make my eyes water but I like cannot stand the smell of armpits like it just grosses me right out and I find that like even my own don't like the smell so I find like putting the peppermint halo on my neck that's all I smell at the gym it's honestly divine I love it so much okay we're gonna go lift now hopefully it's not busy <laughs> obsessed with pineapple things. I got her pineapple juice already, but I think this might be a good option for her too. There's only eight grams of sugar in it. I think she'll like these. Oh, but wait, there's actually these go-go pieces. There's these ones too. So these ones have pineapple in them as well. The ingredients are a little bit cleaner in the go-go squeeze. They're a little bit more expensive, but I'm gonna get her these ones and see if she likes them. I'm gonna get these ones for myself. These are like one of my favorite pre-workout snacks just to like pop these in before I go to the gym. I love that. I'm also gonna get her some pineapple bubbly too. Okay. I wanna try and vlog, but I can't find the converter to turn my music down. Okay, I found it. There we go. 
So we're gonna make some banana bread now. This recipe is handwritten by my grandma who lives in Nova Scotia. I'll be seeing her so soon, but I'm going to make her banana bread first, and then I'm going to try and make this one after. This is blueberry banana bread. I have some blueberries that I wanna try and get rid of, so I have everything all ready. I'm gonna set you guys up. We're gonna do some baking. these chocolate chips in the States, they are the butterscotch Toll House ones. For the second one, we're going to try this one from Tasty. It actually uses yogurt as one of the ingredients, which is exciting because I have yogurt I want to get rid of, so. And then sit down and finally watch the Jays game. It's now 10 50, so the Jays game is like over three hours ago, almost four hours ago. But I'm just gonna do my skincare quick before I take him for a walk, just because I have a feeling I'm not gonna wanna do it when I get back. I don't have like a tall tripod yet, so this is like the best I can do, but I already toned my face. So I just mix a couple of drops of this into my face cream on my hand, and then I apply it onto my face. And then the last thing I apply is just an eye cream over top of that. And that is it for my skincare. If you guys do try the Luna Bronze Drops, I do have a discount code for them. I will put it in the description box below. But that is all for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.